Hello everyone. Hope your learning is going good. Today I am here with another presentation on intrinsically safety topic. I just want to recall you all that what is intrinsically safety? This is a method in which we restrict the energy which is going in hazardous area to prevent any unwanted and undesirable explosions. So how we achieve that? We used to put barrier in the loop. So uh, the first concept is how to restrict energy going in hazardous area. The answer is barrier and the guideline of selecting intrinsically safety barrier using entity ratings. We are going to see all the all, all those concepts in this video. Before coming to the first slide, I request you all to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the uh, latest video as soon as I upload in the channel. So coming to the first slide types of protection we have already covered in the earlier presentation most commonly applied types according to the IEC 60079 standards are uh, 60079-1 is flame proof, dash 2 is pressurization, dash 5 is quad encapsulation, dash 7 is increased safety and 11 is the intrinsically safety that is the uh, topic will be covered today and uh, you can read by their own rest of the uh, methods. Uh, standards so next is guidelines for selecting intrinsically safety barrier using entity ratings so how we are going to prevent the energy or restrict the energy going in hazardous area we will be using a intrinsically safety barrier and uh, coming yeah this side is uh, uh, we are going to have this slide first basic design and limitation of energy in the whole electric circuit energy is uh, depends on capacitance and inductance okay intrinsically safety circuits are normally supplied from safe area and basically limiting the voltage by general diodes and current by register so in the intrinsically safety barrier we use general diodes for limiting the voltage and the register for limiting the currents and by uh, by uh, limiting these voltage and currents we are going to restrict the energy going into the field okay take into account a maximum cable length because of increasing c and l this line tells you that the capacitance and inductance of the cable also comes into the picture in the coming slide we are going to see all these mathematics also so uh, this is the uh, standard uh, you know uh, one loop that okay yeah this is non hazardous area where we will be going to install our intrinsically safe barrier and this is the hazardous area where for example we are using 6 dvc 6200 positioner attacks approved uh, positioner and we need to we have to consider this tracks device also so uh, that determine the barrier entity barrier entity the vo the voc voc is barrier open circuit voltage of the barrier so voc isc ca and la need to be calculated for this barrier how we are going to calculate it so voc should be uh, less than vmax and vmax for the devices uh, for any device vmax imax pici and li will be given on that particular instrument only so for dvc vmax is 30 vdc and for vmax device communicator is 30 vdc so uh, the voc yani ki, uh, means barrier open circuit voltage of barrier should be less than vmax and i of short circuit current is less than i max and uh, the capacitance of barrier should be greater than ci plus c cable and l and uh, inductance should be greater than li plus l cable and uh, uh, coming to the uh, no, what is the voc and vmax voc is barrier open cir circuit circuit voltage that means uh, over this voltage the barrier will get open and uh, the functionality of this is barrier will be uh, no more 
VMAX is the instrument, VMAX, IS is the barrier short circuit current that is uh, after this uh, I if uh, the hazardous area current is going to be more than ISC then the energy will not be uh, will not be going through this highest barrier and hazardous area will not be uh, no more hazardous. So, uh, CA is barrier acceptable connected capacitance, CI is instrument total unprotected internal capacitance, CC cable is signal cable for total capacitance. Coming to the next slide, this we have already covered, okay. And this is the uh, one example that you can see that uh, uh, field value DVC uh, 6200 digital uh, positioner we used, 1000 feet of cable with 60 picofarad of per feet capacitance and 0. Uh, inductance per feet is the inductance so calculate the barrier entity ratings how we are going to calculate it c a cable is 60 yeah there you can see 60 picofarad into 1000 that is 60 nf and the l cable is 0.2 lh uh, inductance henry into 1000 feet that is 0.2 mah so c a of the intrinsically safety barrier will be 5 nano f 5 nanofarad this plus plus 0 nf of the tracks device plus 60 nf of cable that is 65 likewise la la uh, inductance of the uh, is barrier will be 0.55 mh 0.0 mh and 0.2 mh that is 0.75 mh uh, if we are going to calculate the open circuit voltage that should be we can see here that should be less than yeah uh, that should be uh, just wait yeah that should be uh, less than b max of dvc minus boc of the tracks that is 30 vdc minus 1.9 vdc that should be 28.1 vdc and other conditions are uh, actually uh, for calculating the voc of the barrier must uh, meet all the following conditions requirement voc should be less than b max of this voc is the, the tracks uh, uh, VOC should be less than Vmax of tracks also. So VOC is 18.28.1 and uh, the uh, intrinsically uh, safety barrier uh, short circuit current of the barrier must meet all the following conditions. Yes, you can see here ISC is less than uh, Imax of DVC plus ISC tracks that is 226 plus this that this become 226 ISC should be less than this this so ISC is 200 milli ampere so in this in this way we going to we are going to select the intrinsically safe barrier and by this method we are going to achieve and restrict the hazardous energy which is going into the field in the uh, safe uh, safety level so uh, this is all uh, from my end for this video thanks for watching it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.